You know, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting when you think of the standpoint of going on with women is not useful. I mean, it's definitely in terms of games, they are um, notes on that we'll talk about. Um, CNT, WNT, friendlies, Art of Morocco. So uh, we are a little bit curious to see. I think once we get the rock for you guys. But yeah, Argentina and Morocco. Morocco is a fun team to play. Very random note on this. Like, when's the last time a European slash North American team has played a friendly in Africa? Because, like, why? Why haven't they? Anyways, we're here to talk about the U17s, Baby Reds are going to be playing in the FIFA U17 World Cup. They qualified by finishing third in the CONCACAF U17, beating Puerto Rico. Again, was Puerto Rico the fourth best team in CONCACAF on the women's side in youth level? They might be. But the roster was announced a few days ago. And we want to talk about it a little bit. It was yesterday, but depending on when you listen to this, a few days back. But a 21-player roster. And a few interesting things. Um, uh, the first thing we'll kind of cover of note is that uh, there will be no Rosa Maloof, uh, which, if you're looking at this from a pessimistic standpoint, that's like half your goals in qualifying. If you look at it from a glass half full standpoint, that's, well, there's a lot of players who uh, are going to have to start scoring some goals. So there's opportunities for goal scoring. So we're definitely looking forward to seeing that and seeing kind of what they're able to do. So let's take a look at this roster that we have here. So 21 players have been selected for this roster and the players are as follows. Right, ladies, players, if I mispronounce your names, is it too late now to say that I'm sorry? Yeah, but we're gonna stop there. Anyways, um, the 21 players we have, Faith Fenwick, Noel Henning, Coralie Lallier, Claire Logan, Yibo Ching, Zoe Marcassini, Jeanette Okiki, Maya Archibald, Ella Otti, Renee Watson, Anna Hauer, Ashley Roberts, Felicia Roy, or Felicia Roy, Isabel Monk, Geneva Hernandez Gray, Emily Wong, Amanda Allen, Annabelle Shuku, Jamie Perrault, Kayla Briggs, and Jade Bordelow. Now, not to talk about players who aren't here, but I found it, there's two things on this roster, especially for one for playing out there. No Naya Rose, not sure why that is. I'll try to see if I can find anything, but no Naya Rose. The second interesting thing about this roster is that they have Ella Ati, as a fullback. That's not the surprise. The surprise is that Renee Watson is set up as a fullback now. If you remember in CONCACAF W, she scored a goal against, I think she had two goals in the tournament, but she definitely scored a goal against Jamaica, but she did that from a forward position, usually in the 10 role, can Alexa invert her 4-3-3, and basically play a 4-4-2 diamond with essentially two wingers as forwards and playing there and then the striker dropping back into it more of a tip more of a diamond roll so seeing Renee Watson drop back as a fullback is curious I'm wondering how that looks on the pitch I hope it looks good um, but it's definitely a thing that stands out with this team uh, Emma Humphreys has 21 players coming and we're definitely looking forward. They will be playing France on Wednesday, October the 12th, then Japan, and then they'll be playing Tanzania on the 18th. I didn't say the date for the Japan match because apparently they're playing them back to back, which doesn't make much sense, but maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But we'll definitely double check that for you, make sure we post all the correct times for you. So what does this mean? now? We have the U20s go and play Baby Reds. Uh, didn't have the best showing that they hoped for. They had some injuries. Uh, were able to score two goals, but lost all three matchups. And I think for them, this U17 team has played more together. 
uh, they played uh, with the NDC team in League One Ontario over the summer, so they've had a lot of good experience. A lot of the girls also played in the Niagara, uh, not Niagara, the Canada Summer Games that happened in Niagara. So in Niagara, so they do have some familiarity. They did play a few, play the Revelations Cup on the women's side where they beat Chile and then also lost to Mexico. So this team has had a few more matchups and look ready to go. How do I feel about them going through? Why well, first thing is when you're missing uh, Rosa Malouf, it does leave a lot of opportunities for you. And based off players and how they have been playing, I am looking forward to seeing specifically Amanda Allen and Jamie Perro both attacking. I think it could bring an interesting yeah, they both can bring an interesting level in terms of attacking from the wing. They definitely aren't afraid to let those long range shots go. And I think that definitely could be a thing, as well as Claire Logan, if they ever do get in a position where they can bring their center backs up. But I think for scoring, I'm wondering what uh, Renee Watson can bring from the fullback position. But I'm looking at three names specifically Amanda Allen, Jamie Perro. I know Felicia Roy has had a good time, but I'm also going to add Annabelle Chukwu into that to see if those three players can come in and create. I think Jade Baldelow definitely has some opportunities to play, depending on how uh, Emma Humphreys wants to pull them out. But those three forwards, I'm going to look to them to get some scoring to get these baby reds off to the right foot. Again, you're playing three quality teams. Uh, we wish you ladies all the best, you players the best. Uh, we're rooting for you. Um, but yeah, that's the roster, guys. Tell me know how you feel. How do you think they match up with some of the other teams? If you are from another team, let me know how you feel about their chances. How do you rate Canada and whatnot? And guys, yeah, another FIFA tournament coming before the Men's World Cup shows up. So guys, there's going to be a lot of footy action, a lot of footy content coming your way from here. Guys, I'm going to stop talking now. Stop rambling. Let me know what you think.